Are you struggling on offense in Madden 23? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the most explosive and hardest offense to stop in the game. And this is a fact, not an opinion. I went through the top 100 leaderboard, and even though I'm only ranked in the top 5,000 because I'll probably never play enough games to get in the top 100 based on the fact that I'm always editing videos or making ebooks or whatever, but I did go through the individual statistics and I noticed something very interesting that I have a 70% third down conversion rating, which is higher than even the best players in the world. In fact, the highest third down conversion rating compared to my own was a 66 percent by the number three player in the world so if you want to see what offense that i'm using that's so hard to stop stick around after the intro the for the cheapest fastest most reliable mutt coins in the market check out my coin sponsors at aoeah.com and use discount code money for three percent off link in the description below Today's offensive video is going to be out of my brand new New Orleans Saints offensive ebook. I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to check that out, check out the full thing. I also have this on my Patreon, on my Join Our Community tab, all that stuff. So if you need any additional help, make sure to check those things out. The offensive formation that I'm using today is going to be the Empty Y Saint, or it's also called the Eagle Age Slot if you're using custom playbooks because I know that confuses a lot of people and I'm getting a lot of questions about it in the comments. The first play in this series of offensive plays is going to be the Saints Fork. This is easily my most used play in Madden 23 and it's my go-to play whenever I need a first down or any situation where I need to get a conversion. The setup for this could not be easier. All I'm going to do is put the X route here, which is the running back, on a slant. That slant route is essentially meant to be a check down that will typically beat man or zone, but I'm not going to go over that again this entire video because I'm not going to need it. At no point will my opponent stop my first two reads, which is going to be the tight end and the slot receiver on the right side. To run this play is very simple. I'm going to stare at this tight end every single play. If he gets open, I will take it right away, no questions asked. And he'll pretty much get open against pretty much any manner zone in the game. As you can see right here, we have a Tampa 2, which is probably one of the tougher zones to beat when it comes to underneath routes. On this next play here, you're going to see I'm running it against a cover 3. Cover 3 is probably the best defense to run this against because you can see these routes basically pull back all the receivers in the area, leaving the flats immediately wide open for an easy 10-yard catch and run. I mean, I had nothing but space there. As you can see, we just take that for an easy touchdown. Cover three and cover four are going to react the exact same way. Essentially, those deep outside cornerbacks just drop back after the snap, making it super easy to beat it up underneath. Oddly enough, this play has a lot of success against man coverage as well for a multitude of reasons. Number one, typically whoever's using the middle linebacker to man coverage is really supposed to be responsible for this route, and they typically don't follow it. They typically stay in the middle of the field because they don't want to give up anything crossers-wise, slants, drags, whatever. And that'll leave me a lot of times open in the flat for an easy catch and run because the user didn't follow me, which was his responsibility. This route can typically beat the computer in man defense as well. On this next play, you'll notice that the middle linebacker is just lined up too far inside. You have to make a quick decision when when it comes to throwing to this tight end but that's why i said start every play staring at this tight end and making that your first read if you do that you get plenty of explosive catch and run plays that'll eventually have your opponent paying attention to just this specific route got one play that shit ain't working no more that play's over you won't ever get that play off told you nigga that shit is a wrap so once your opponent starts paying attention to that shorter route, it's really just going to open up the next route, which is going to be the RB route. The RB route is a man and a zone beater. You can see on this next play, my opponent totally bites. He's hard flatting. He's down in the flats trying to take that away at all costs, giving up the much bigger play over the top. Whose man is that? Who's man is that? I don't want to be the one to tell him, but that was your man because you were so concerned over that hard flat that you completely forgot to cover the RB route entirely. And the RB route is really the better route. I mean, it's a natural man beater, as you'll see on this next play. My opponent, once again, covering that flat, then leaving the RB route, who's left one-on-one -on -one in man coverage with the safety, and I'm going to win that every single time. As my opponent is running a cover zero, which is really probably the second most popular defense aside from cover one man. The only thing that can really give this play problems is if you're throwing it at a really good defender, like on this next play, uh, we have Jalen Ramsey who really jumps the route and stops it. That's really a result of me just being lazy on the sticks. If I go through the full setup, like on this third and seven here, you'll see that I put the B route on a streak or a fade nine times out of ten to try to clear that defender a little bit better because ultimately the, the post route that he's running is going to pull the defender inside and really leave him in that position. If I streak that defender, though, it's a lot less of an issue, as you can see on the next play once again, we hit him right in front of Jalen Ramsey one more time. In fact, on the very next play on third and goal, one more time, when I need a first down, like I'm saying, we go right back to that and nail it right in front of Jalen Ramsey again for the touchdown. Now, the second play using this formation is actually a one-play touchdown against every single defense in the game, and that play is the Saints Drags. If you've watched my channel for a long time, you've noticed that I've run this play a lot, and I've run it for many years. It's a very good play, and it's even better in Madden 23. 
The only adjustment you want to make is you want to make sure you put your fastest or your best receiver at this particular spot right here. The setup, once again, is very simple. All you got to do is motion in the running back and put him on a streak. That's all you really have to do. You can also streak the A route if you want to. But at the end of the day, we're really trying to set up the Y route, which can be a one-play touchdown against every single defense in the game. And then you also have your crossing checkdowns, which is the RB route and the A route, which should get open against just about every single defense in the game as well. But I'm typically throwing it to the Y route. You can see right here, he gets outside of the cornerback, whether man or zone, he gets outside of every single cornerback in the game. I take the check down on this first play, though, because I don't always want to force it. I mean, that is a little bit of a safer option. But at the end of the day, you will notice that the Y route gets opening. It's just about everything. On this next play, my opponent is running the very popular right now cover one man. You can see I make that motion. That's probably the only thing that's really a tell, which is why you have to mix in some of these other plays, is you don't want to do that motion too much. But you can see that this receiver just gets right past the cornerback which isn't typical. There's not a lot of routes that get past cover one deep like that. And you can see, once again, we have a very easy one-play touchdown against cover one hole. You do need a little bit of a speed advantage, though, which is one of the reasons I'm constantly putting Quez Watkins there instead of A.J. Brown. But you can see it's very consistent. You just have to bullet and pass lead away from any safety or cornerback that's in the area. But you can see, once again, we score again against another cover one man. This isn't just a one-play touchdown, though. You can get a lot of quick completions off against this as well in man coverages, which is pretty much what everybody's running. On this next play, I meant to lob it, but since Josh Allen has Gunslinger, it's very hard to lob with this new passing mechanic, and it threw a bullet pass. But you can see I still came up with late hands and snatched that ball away, which is something that I noticed in Madden 23 due to the new passing mechanic is you can really make a lot of tight window throws. Yeah, this oh, good catch. If to right, no can defense. This play really scores against any defense in the game, but people only run cover one man, so I really had to go to practice mode to show you guys some of these other defenses. But against cover two zone, you can see how easily it gets outside with a nice pass lead. That's obvious. Against cover two man, this is something I've used for cover two man for multiple years now. Exact same setup. You just really have to wait for the receiver to get outside the cornerback a little bit. Man coverage is better, so you might not get a catch and run like I have in the past, but it's still a very good play. Against cover three, this is also a one-play touchdown, which it typically hasn't been in the past. This is very brand new. You'll notice that the receiver just gets outside of the cornerback and I'm not even using Quez Watkins I'm using Devontae Smith who's only like a 91 speed so for some reason it works very well against that it also has success against cover four regular which is very unique as well you'll see here once again the Y route just gets outside the cornerback it's really that simple it gets outside of every type of cornerback or defense in the game I did get one clip of an opponent running a cover three. Uh, like I said, it's pretty rare. People don't really run zones very much. But I did get one opportunity for it, and it worked just like it did in practice mode. You can see Quez Watkins gets outside of the cornerback. All you have to do is bullet and pass lead deep and away from the safety. And he does get behind the cornerback, but at the end of the day, he just does not catch the ball for whatever reason. Yeah. So I still want to show it. It does get behind the defense in regular game modes. But since everybody's running man cover one anyway and man zero, let's show some man beating plays from this formation. The Saints goes whip is probably one of the best man beating plays in this particular playbook or in this particular formation. Uh, the B route and the A route both beat man coverage. It doesn't take any adjustments, but at the end of the day, the A route completely smokes this coverage middle linebacker or cornerback. I'm not even really sure who's covering him because really nobody's covering him. He just gets open right away. You can see the, the zig is huge against man coverage right now. He's, he gets wide open. By the time I throw the football, he's got about 10 yards of separation for an easy catch and run. Might have something to do with the fact that it's Stefan Diggs in the slot, but at the end of the day, that's a very good play. The Saints slant flood is also a very good play. I typically motion this guy in the exact same way that I do the original play. I typically put him on a streak as well. I left him on a slant because I kind of wanted to have a second option, but you can see the Y route gets outside of man coverage the same way. It'll get outside of zone coverage too. That's a very glitchy route, although I don't use that play very much because all these other plays are so good. And then the A route is really the first read. That tight end should be just about anybody in in coverage although like i said i kind of messed up with the slant so we really had two guys open right in front of one another but we still made a very easy play so that's it that's the video if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future more gameplay breakdowns of offenses and defense make sure to be a subscriber and hit the like button other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bits and more link in the description below